Yo, hey, what's good with y'all, man? Welcome y'all back to another video. It's your boy Hustle, it's your boy 98 CEO, aka The Answer, and I'm back with another video. So, what I got today, man, is the second installment of the um, mock draft for the Falcons, Atlanta Falcons mock draft 2. Um, the first one I did, if y'all didn't check it out, that was a couple days ago, but that was before the uh, Cooter trade. So, I went, I remember I grabbed two two corners in the draft, because um, like I said, that was before we, you know, traded for a Cooter, traded the extra fifth for a Cooter. I need to go ahead and update, uh, you know, do the next draft. You know, we not don't have that fifth round pick anymore. We also have uh, additional cornerback. Um, so this is the second installment of that draft. So we're gonna get straight into that. Like I said, um, I got the Falcons uh, mock draft two. Um, we're gonna get straight into that. Uh, still got the eighth pick in the first round as far as that goes. So you know, we'll see how these, these chips fall. A couple more people been rising up. You know, the the draft board. So we're gonna see how these chips fall. So we're gonna get straight into that video. You know, right now this go Falcons fast. Um, Let's get into it. Whoa, I'm on my two, but I don't care where this thing gonna fire, but I almost just jumped in and paused the draft and did the trade up. All right, so we got one offer from the Bengals for 28. We're not straight on that. Um, so right here at eight. I'm not gonna lie. Um, it's between uh, it's honestly between Carter. Well, three people between Carter, Wilson, and Robinson. I just feel like we've done so much on the in, the interior. We, we probably should go edge here. But at the same time, it's just like, let me, oh, man. I feel like we brought in a lot of people, but you really don't have no technical person. So I'm going to go 14. I'm going to go edge here. I'm going to go Tyree, Tyree Wilson just because I feel like with Jalen Carter, you know, I don't I don't really have no issue with it as far as the off the issues. I feel like Calais, somebody can come put his arm around him and really get him in line and make him a true professional. But just as far as what we probably need more than, you know, in the interior, you know, somebody that's coming off the edge that's actually got some size to him, not like an ABK who's more of a speed guy, but somebody got a little girth to him. Um, definitely not trading with the Colts, and we're definitely not trading AJ Terrell for nothing that the Browns are talking about. Um, so now we're sitting at this second pick. So, um... Off rip here, I do like Jameer Gibbs. I wouldn't take him necessarily here, um, but it'll be between Osiris and we're going Florida for sure. Um, but to me, it's between Osiris and Dexter, uh, Javon Dexter. I wouldn't mind Javon Dexter just because again, you want to add some some of that size to the middle and to that defense. But right here, I'm gonna take the guard Osiris Torrance. Again, we did. I think we took him last draft as well. We got to get a solidified left guard, so I, I I I'll take that pick there and go ahead and take that. Um. And then next, all right, so let's now go to the back 12 people. We're coming up to with another fourth. And let's go back 10 and we pick up, a, we pick up another pick. But I see what I already want, so I'm not going for it. Uh, so they say this dude Rasheed Rice is actually pretty good. Let me see what he's talking about. Because I ain't going to see my boy Bootay, and that's where I was going. But... Um, But yeah, we're gonna go with Rasheed Rice. We're gonna go to the receiver. Like I said, we need some another another two receiver. Uh, Matt Collins. Matt Collins is not the long term answer. I, I would honestly not even really want to go into the season with him as a two receiver. But um, you know for what we have right now is go ahead and just take that receiver. All right. Then this is where it kind of gets a little tricky because now I probably go a plethora of places. Um, we could go linebacker here. Yeah, so we're going to go ahead. I was thinking Jaden Reed to go ahead and get another receiver, kind of a slot guy. But we'll go ahead and go uh, Day Dayan Henley because we need another linebacker. I, I, to me, the Michael Walker experience is over. And um, oh, we got bad backs. Hold on. All right. We got another pick. Um, now, here I wouldn't mind going to get a D tackle. But it's only it's about to come down over now. Um, no. Kobe Wooden, that's the one guy I kind of like, but. All right, so we're going back to the big board. We could, but no, I'm not going to take it here. Um, based on these picks, I really would go on here. Because to me, more than, uh, to me, it's coming out to the offense line. I'm thinking Ricky Stromberg. Uh, just because, you know, I, I'm, we're not necessarily sold on the 
You know, Dalman was decent last year. We're not necessarily sold on. Um, but I'm thinking Juan yet because I'm honestly I'm not. I don't want um, Jake Matthews long time. I really I'm really ready to get off Jake Matthews. You know, ASAP to be honest. Um, I say Stromberg. Though. I feel like you bring Stromberg in. You you put some real comp over there at the center position. Cause Stromberg he's been starting for a minute. Uh, kind of like him to us. We don't have a fifth, so we'll be straight back to the. Uh, it's two sevens that we got because we already lost the six in some trade we did. But yeah, to go ahead and get, you know, I'm, I wouldn't be mad at that. Uh, you know what I'm saying? That that center to bring Dom some competition. Like, the man, Hennessy experience is pretty much over. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll look at that. All right. Then last two picks. So right here, these are just picks in the dark. You know what I'm saying? You just find in value where you can. I would not mind a defensive tackle here. But like I said, I mean, at this point, seven rounds, you're trying to find somebody to come in and contribute. All right, so we're taking Jason Brownlee Jr., receiver, Southern Miss. I like what all his jumps said. And then we got one more pick here. And I was thinking about Anthony Orgy. Cause I like the double dipping at whatever. Nah. Yeah, so we'll take um I'm taking Anthony Orgy. Cause I feel like with certain positions you do, you don't you don't just draft one person so they they solidify stars. Um at a position like linebacker, we have so much so many young people, you really just need somebody to come in and, and take over the position. Whether that, to me, Michael Walker is over with. But whether that be Michael Walker, Troy Anderson, um, Rashad Evans, you know, he's still on limbo. He hasn't been signed yet, so we don't know if he'll be here. Um, but then one of these two rookies, you know, somebody got two people got to come in and grab those positions. So with everybody being so young, three to rookie, three year, probably max to rookie players, that's something that you want to go ahead and do. But just going back over this draft. So first pick, uh, we did have the option of Jalen Carter. We went ahead and took Tyree Wilson. Um, Tyree Wilson, I think I'd be, you know, Jay McCarty on the inside would be great, but with Ani Mata and all those guys, Grady, you kind of got, you know, a lot of mix on the inside right now. So to go ahead and grab, grab that edge rusher, I think would bode a lot better than, you know, you can work with Calais um, as far as, you know, just, just becoming a guy. Um, so there you go, Tyree Wilson. Next pick went right to that offensive line with Cyrus Torrance. Got to get that left, left guard position, you know, solidified and, and you know, set up. Then uh, we went receiver Rasheed Rice. Uh, Rasheed Rice. Don't really know much about him, but from the um, scouting report, it's not like a, a, a guy that can come in and be number two, for sure, uh, behind Drake. Then we got uh, Dan Henley, linebacker. So go ahead and bring in some linebackers to compete for them starting positions. Simple. Ricky Stromberg, we brought him in as a, uh, a center, just because are we, are we really sold on the Drew Dahlman experience? I'm not. I mean, Drew Dahlman played decent. He wasn't great. He wasn't bad. But if we can bring in somebody that comes in like a Creed Humphrey and now is uh, – <laughs> Uh, gets straight like Cree Humphrey got the highest ranking of I think any player since he's been drafted. He's been straight ninety something. This is what he's going to his third year. So Cree Humphrey sometimes you just get somebody like that, and then you got a quarterback like Pat back there, and that's that tan Jeff Saturday paying man type of thing. Um, so we'll take we'll take that just to just to see uh, bring a little competition to that center room as well. Then I went back double dipped that uh, receiver. Like I said, we did trade the fifth for Je Jeff Okuda, so we just had those two sevens left. Uh, so we can jump, jump back down. Got another receiver, Jason Brownlee. Uh, just kind of like the size that he had, the, the kind of scout report I see. You know, they say he got elite uh, catch radius. Them type of guys are want to bring in the building. Somebody that can go get the ball, go up and catch it. So bring him in as well because, like I said, the kind of receivers that we got right now, we need to add, uh, you know, influx of talent in that room as well. Then I double back down. Got the next same, very next pick. Got um, Anthony Orji, another linebacker. If Dan Henley is, is not that guy, maybe, maybe Orji is. So like I said, we're just bringing everybody together to go ahead and, and um, you know, see who comes out of that. Put the pressure on them. Who, who, who want these starting positions? They ain't giving nothing at that linebacker room, especially if we don't bring back Rashawn Evans. So like I said, man, that, that's my draft too. This one is a lot more compact. It wasn't any tracing, but I kind of do like it because it sets us up for the future. Got us a, a left guard for the future, hopefully. Got us our edge rusher of the future. Um, one of the two receivers got to come out and be, you know, solidified number two going forward. And then if a, and another one can be actually the number three receiver to four. That you know, that's a great draft. Uh, if we can get basically Tyree got to got to be a, a first three picks got to be his. I ain't gonna lie. 
First we pick gotta be hits, they all gotta be stars. Then from there, if we can get two stars out of that last four, that'd be great. Either one of those linebackers or Ricky Stromberg, you know, or I, I don't know if Jason Lee a star, bro. I'll leave a star. But we can get Ricky Stromberg as a starter and actually a consistent good starter. This is a great draft. So like I said, man, that's my draft too. Like I said, I'm dropping probably 10 of these before the, the actual draft is. So I got about another week and a half uh, before that happens. I think it's the 29th, starts the 29th. But like I said, man, y'all keep tapping me with the channel. Let me know what y'all think about my draft. Uh, this second draft, like I said, with the with the trades we made and getting a Cuda and, the, and, the, and then some more of those other uh, like pickups like a Bud Dupree. You know, kind of just seeing where we stand and seeing what we can do. So like I said, uh, keep tapping me with the channel. Let me know what y'all think about this draft with the Falcons. Think, let me know where y'all think we should go. And that'd be it for this video. Keep tapping in with the channel. Like, share, comment, subscribe. I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.